Oscar and the Moth, a book about light and dark. Jeff Waring. Oscar and the Moth, a book about light and dark. Jeff Waring. One summer evening, Oscar lay on the warm back step. Moth was just waking up. Where does the sun go at night? Oscar asked her. It doesn't go anywhere, Moth answered. But the Earth is always turning around. Now it's turning slowly away from the sun. Oscar was surprised. I'm not turning around, he said. We can't feel it, Moth said, but we can see it. When our side of the Earth turns toward the sun, it gets light, and when it turns away again, it gets dark. Morning. Lunchtime. Evening. Oscar sat up. I'm cold, he said, shivering. It's because we've turned away from the sun, said Moth, and now we don't have the sun's light or its warmth. That's why it's almost always colder at night than during the day. Just then, the outside lamp came on. Moth flew toward it. I sleep during the day, she said, so I don't see the sun. But I love the lamp's light and its warmth. Oscar looked up. He could feel the lamp's warm light on his face. Is the lamp as hot as the sun? he asked. No, said Moth. The sun is our brightest and hottest light. Are all lights hot? Oscar asked. Not all, said Moth, but many are. Oscar climbed off the step. And looked out at the starry sky. Moth flew down to join him. You can only see the stars at night, she said. They are always shining, but you can't see them during the day because of the light from the sun. Our sun is a star too. It is closer to the Earth than other stars are. So its light is much brighter to us than theirs, and it looks very big. Moth flew toward the street. Without the sun's light, we need other lights to help us, she said. Oscar could see the lights of an airplane, a street light, and a lamp in the window. What are those little lights? He asked. They're dancing. Those are fireflies, Moth said. They are beetles that can make their own light. And she told Oscar about how some living creatures make light in their own bodies. Male fireflies wait until dusk to fly up and show off to female fireflies by flashing light signals. Malaysian land snails wake up at night and flash green signals to each other. The sun's light does not reach far into the sea, and many sea creatures make their own light. If anything tries to eat a swordfish squid, it squirts a glowing ink cloud. This dazzles the hungry fish, allowing the squid to escape. The rim of a crystal jellyfish glows green when it is disturbed.
There's a poisonous millipede found in California that lights up at night to warn other animals not to eat it. The anglerfish lives in the deep sea. It has a big spine on its head, with a tip that glows blue-green. The tip acts as bait to lure other fish, which the anglerfish then eats. I wish I could glow too, Oscar said. Just then, Oscar noticed something swooping around. Look, moth! There's your shadow. He called. My body is stopping some of the light from reaching the wall. Moth said, "It leaves a dark patch that's the same shape as me." Where's my shadow? Asked Oscar. If you stand up, Moth said, "You'll see." Oscar got up. There was an Oscar-shaped shadow on the wall. Oscar lay down again, and so did his shadow. He closed his eyes. The dark behind his eyelids made him feel sleepy. Is it nearly morning? He said with a yawn. Not yet, Oscar said. Moth, but Oscar didn't hear her. He was already dreaming about the bright sun, the shining stars, and deep sea fishes.